Hello everyone. Today we will learn parallel lines and transversals. Let's start. Do you remember parallel lines and transversals? I think you are saying yes. Okay, can you give some real life examples? For example, when you are on train race or fence of your garden or when you are in a boat, even if you are shooting a rose or walking on a bridge or running on runway. All these are examples that include parallel lines and transversals. Now, let's remember some angle types which are constructed by parallel lines and transversals. Now, you are seeing four questions. I want you to stop the video and write your answers under comment box. Let's start. First question says angle 1 and angle 5 are blah blah angles. Yes, angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles. What are other corresponding angles? Yes, 2 and 6, 5 and, se 5 and 7, 4 and 8. Let's look at second one. It says angle 2 and angle 4 are blah blah angles. What is the answer? Yes, they are vertical angles. What are other vertical angles? 2, 4, 1 and 3. Angle 5 and angle 7. Angle 6 and angle 8. Yes. Let's look at third one. It says angle 4 and angle 6. Blah blah angles. Yes. They are alternate interior angles. What are other alternate interior angles? Yes, 3 and 5, another one. Let's look at fourth one. It says angle 2 and angle 8 are blah blah angles. Yes, they are alternate exterior angles. What are other alternate in exterior an angles? Yes, 1 and 7. Let's look at the questions which requires finding, finding value of given angles. Before starting the questions, I will give you some notations. For each question, stop the video and try to solve the questions. While solving the questions, Write which angle types you used. For example, alternate interior, exterior angles, vertical, corresponding angles. And do not forget to upload the picture of your work on Padlet. Let's start. First question says, Angle B equals 114 degrees and it says what is the value of a how can we solve it yes i am i am seeing the your point there there is these angles are alternate interior angles so if angle b is 114 angle a have to equal 
114. Yes, you did. Let's look at second one. Please stop the video and solve on your own. Now we are we will solve together. Question two says that angle C equals 70 degrees and is it asked that what is the value of x? I think you are you can see that there is a alternate interior angle. If these are alternate interior angles, then these, these angles should equal to 70. So this angle also 70. But what are you seeing now? Yes, this angle this angle is 70 and this angle is 10x and we know that these angles are we know that these angles are alternate not alternate yes they are vertical angles so 70 equals 10x 7 equals x and the answer is 7 alternatively if you are if you look at the red angle you can see that red angle and this red angle are corresponding angles so you can solve the question like using corresponding angles let's look at another one please stop the video and try to solve it let's solve together do you see there's a alternate interior angles we can see that this angle and this angle are equal to each other so if angle be this pink one 6y plus 3 this equal this should equal to also 6y plus 3 so what are you seeing now yes these angles are supplementary angles so addition of these angles should equal to 180 and if you solve the equation you will find the y as 17 congratulations you did the right thing now we will continue with questions which needs your help using your prior knowledge that we learned in this lesson Try to find missing value. As I said before, you can use alternate interior exterior angles or corresponding vertical supplementary angles in order to find answer answers of these questions and after you work on these questions do not forget to upload your work on Padlet let's solve together first question says that the angle K equals 45 and angle M equals 25 and it asks to find it asks you to find the angle L. What did you think? Yes, I think we can have from a line which is parallel to D4 
which is parallel to line D4 and line D5. Let's draw. Yes, I think when we draw this line, you think the same thing. When we have two parallel lines, we can easily find alternate interior angles. Yes, these are alternate interior angles. And these are congruent to each other. So the green part of the L equals 45. Let's look at the bottom of the pink line. We can easily draw another alternate interior angles. So the yellow part of the L equals 25. And the L equals to addition of these two parts which is 70. Let's change the numbers of this question. Let's say K equals 30 degrees and M equals 50 degrees and what is L? We can easily say that this part, the green part equals 30 because of alternate interior angles and the other yellow part will equal to 50 because of another pair of alternate interior angles. So L will equal to 80. What did you realize from these questions? I think maybe you should think about that. Let's look at together. We saw two questions and we see that the result of these questions equals to the left side of the left side of these lines. We add 35 and 25 and we got 70 and we add 30 and 50 to get 80. You see that the result is equal to addition of the angles at the left side. Let's generalize this. We can say that if we have angle if we have an angle with value A and B at the left side to find the right side of the angle we should add A and B and L will equal to A plus B. Let's look at another question. I think you are saying we did the same thing. Yes, you are right. We will solve these questions like another question that we solved. We will get a half from a line which is parallel to D1 and D2. Let's draw. Now, I think you are saying that we should draw a alternate interior angles. Let's draw. Yes, if it if P angle P equals 115, the the part of the R, which is alter, alternate interior angle with P equals also 115. So we know that the green part is and red part are supplementary angles. So when we add these, they should equal to 180. So the red part equals 65 and the 
other part of the R will equal to 30. So, when we draw alternate interior angles, the yellow part of the S will equal to 30. And we know they are supplementary angles. So, the missing angle will equal to 150. Yes, you, you did good job. Let's move. Let's think that we add the angles at the right side. Let's add and it equals to 360. I think this is interesting. You should think about this and keep on keep it on mind. We will turn back. Let's say that the angle PRS equals to 110. If it is 110, the remain part of the R, which is yellow part, will equal to 45. And because of alternate interior angles, the, the yellow part of the S angle S will equal to 45 and the missing value will equal to 135 and let's add the angles at the right side when we add these angles this is also equal to 360 I think this is so interesting let's look at this We see that I add the 95, I add, I increase 95 by 15, which is 110, and the result decreased by 100. The result also decreased by 15 when we increase this. How can we generalize this? Let's look at if we we can say that if we have angles like A, B and C, the addition of these three angles should equal to 360. Now, let's go to problem solving section. You see, you are seeing a question one. I want you to stop the video and look at the questions to solve them. Let's look at Let's look at the questions together. If we simplify the question, it says there are four angles which are constructed by two parallel lines and one transversal. And is it gives some statements and want you to mm, find these statements are true or not let's look at it says you should if i push these transverses to the right not right left side what will be let's look at i am pushing it to the left side and left side and left side and left side let's not give number to these angles like angle one angle two angle three and angle four 
ang first statement says angle 4 increases if we push the transverses to the left side. Let's look at angle 4s are these. And we know that green green one is the newest one. And when we look at these angles, we know we see that angle 4 increases. So first statement is true. Let's look at the second statement. It says addition of angle 4 and angle 1 does not change. What do you see? I think when we look at these angle pairs, we see that first one is smaller than the second one. Addition of first 1 and 4 mm, is smaller than the addition of later 1 and 4. So, we cannot say that addition of these angles does not change. So, the statement 2 is wrong. Let's look at the third statement. It says angle 2 and angle 3 are always equal to each other. Let's look at if it is true. We see that angle 2 and angle 3 are alternate interior angles and when we draw the second angle pairs the angle 2 and angle 3 are again alternate interior angles because the parallel the, situ the situation of the parallelness does not change so they are they are always equal to each other. So, statement 3 are true. So, statement 1 and se statement th 3 are true and answer is option B. Yeah, you did. Let's look at second question. Now I want you to stop the video and try to solve the question. Let's solve the question together. The question asks that whether first and second strings are parallel or not. Let's simplify the question as simple drawing. There is street 1 and third street and the red one is second street. The question gives that the angle between third and second street is equal to 62 and this angle equals 100. 120. Let's look at. You see that mm, to have a two parallel lines, we have some mm, actually we should have some conditions. Let, let's look at. We know that these two angles are parallel vertical angles so this angle also equals 120 let's extend our second street and we can see that these angles are alternate interior angles so this red this yellow angle also equals 120 so do you see yes i also see these angles we know that supplementary angles and supplementary angles should 
when we add these supplementary angles, they should equal to 180. But we see that when we add these angle pairs, they are not equal to 180. So these angles are not parallel. Your homework is waiting for you on this folder, drive folder. Please work on it and upload your work on this drive folder. You can see the drive link at the bottom. Thank you for watching this video.